Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool single slot payphone and this is Tom's equipment from New York and this is the initial checkout of this really cool payphone. Now we want to run through a little bit about what needs to be done in converting this payphone. Now the locks have been removed from this payphone a long time ago and so basically they damaged the entrance for the vault lock so that hole for the vault lock they kind of bent over the metal so we want to do a little bit of body work in that area to straighten out where the lock for the vault would go. And what we're going to end up doing is installing face plates for locks in this payphone. So the lock face plates will only be cosmetic and it will appear that this payphone has actual locks. But you're not getting into this payphone unless you have a T key. So there is no need for locks. We also need to locate a T key, so we'll go ahead and take care of those issues. This unit has programmable PC boards, and we wanted to try to configure them so that we could use them and utilize the volume control, but we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to have to remove all of the programmable PC boards. The keypad that's in this unit is only a momentary switch situation. So what we want to do is go ahead and wire that keypad to a tone generator circuit so that we can build up our circuits to be able to use this payphone as a regular telephone. We're also going to troubleshoot the security cable for the handset. We want to make sure that it's good and that we can use it in our conversion. We're going to need to replace the handset. It's broken and we'll go ahead and replace the handset. We need to make sure that the receive and the transmitter will match the impedance to the circuits that we have to build up. Tom is not interested in ever using any change in this unit, so there's no need for a coin validator. So we'll go ahead and remove that unit and we also need to install a bell. This payphone only had a piezo buzzer and we're going to go ahead and install a mechanical bell and circuit. So we'll go ahead and take care of those issues. We're going to install a modular line port so that Tom can simply bring in any length line cord, any color he chooses, plug right into the modular line port makes for a simple, easy plug-and-play connection. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this unit. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool single-slot payphone, and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting, repairing, and converting process. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now, and we're finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool single slot payphone, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this pickup in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. I'll go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of an electrical hum. I'll release it. Press it one more time. And release it. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the payphone. Now what we want to do is go ahead and use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and press this button on a switch box. That'll give us a line out, totally take the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. We can go ahead and hang up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our hand set up. Now that we know that this really cool single slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return this unit back to Tom and he can enjoy this payphone. I'm sure it's going to look great wherever it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.